Are you worried at all about his age, his cognition, some things he said recently, confusing Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi, confusing World War II, calling President Biden, President Obama, things like that? Um, no, it, it's really not that concerning to me. I think that with everything that he's having to deal with, it's not a regular presidential election or campaign. It's a lot of added pressure. So I think you got to give everybody in life a break. Would you say the same for President Biden? No. How come? Um, it's It's been going on for too long, and now it's affecting the country. And it's it's bad. You don't think that's a concern with President Trump, though? I don't think so. I, I think he's pretty on the ball. and If the nominees are who we believe they will be, these are two older people that are running for the presidency and both been having cognitive difficulties, according to the people who observe them. Donald Trump confused Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi, called World War One, World War Two, confused Biden and Obama. Are you concerned at all about his cognition? Not at all. Are you concerned about President Biden? Absolutely. How, why the difference? I think that President Biden um, probably should have stepped down a long time ago because he's not cognitive at all. He can barely put a sentence together. His motor skills are awful. Um, And I just think that Trump is going to surround himself with more people that believe the way he believes. So if there is ever an issue, he's got people that are going to take over for him. I feel very bad for him. I will be honest with you, for Biden. The man is dementing. I'm trained in dementia. I see things that other people don't see. And quite honestly, sir, it's elder abuse. Do you, are you concerned about Donald Trump's um, cognition now that you know, he's making mistakes on the road, slurring the sort of I those? haven't heard any mistakes, to be honest with you, okay? But I am not concerned about his sharpness. My mother was 94, sir, sharp as a tack before she died. Are you concerned about his age and his cognition at all? No, not at all. No. Are you concerned at all about his cognition at his age and some of the missteps he's had, confusing Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi, confusing President Biden with President Obama, confusing World well, I War II? I have seen that, but I'll tell you, I've seen a lot of misdirection and stuff. And, and one thing, I, you know, I would like to see a real honest debate, to be honest. And I would like to see, uh, well, I would like to see somebody account for the fact that, uh, you know, they in- They indicted him, they impeached him over questioning the Ukrainian president about something that Joe Biden did. Age, an issue in this election. Uh, Recently, Donald Trump has had several recent cognitive issues on stage. Are you concerned about Donald Trump's cognition? Not at all. He gets up at, from what I hear, he doesn't drink, he doesn't do any drugs. He gets up between 3.30 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Um... To me, like I said, this time around, he looks very calm and composed, and he's a business guy. He's a workaholic. Are you concerned about President Biden's cognition? Oh, good Lord, like in a nanosecond. I just listened to some things on Highway Car on the way down here, and he can't even, his isn't even word salad. He can't even read his own, it's, it's really actually sad what they're doing. If it were your dad or your mom and he was being prayed like that, I, you know, How they're handling, like, Bruce Willis, who has, you know, things like that. Bruce Willis has dementia. He does. Joe Biden has dementia beyond. Well, he hasn't been, I mean, he's been, he hasn't been diagnosed with that at all. You you think they're going to actually let him be diagnosed with that or go in? I mean, it's so obvious. I'm just saying what we can say factually is that he hasn't been. Yeah. Well, same thing. Narcissism isn't usually done because narcissists won't go in and get tested for it. I listened to Joe Biden, and he can't even read, whether it's a prompter or whatever he's reading, he can't even read it, and he sounds drunk half the time. Are you worried about Donald Trump's age and cognition? He's been making some mistakes uh, on the road recently. Yeah, that is concerning. He is getting up there. Uh, I do wish that we had young politicians that are leading the charge, uh, but Donald Trump still is coherent. He makes sense. He makes sense to me. He makes sense to millions of people. So I still believe in Donald Trump. You're a young voter. There are two older men running for the presidency, both who have had 
cognitive decline alleged against each of them. Are you concerned about the cognition of Donald Trump? Uh, I wouldn't say I was concerned. It's definitely something you look into. Unfortunately, he is getting up there in age, and it's something to consider. But I feel like with certain decline of Joe Biden, I mean, you're just not seeing that with Trump. Like, he's still passionately going out there, even with the court case now, even the things with Melania and Armand just passed. He's very, stat his statue is very strong, and he seems very, very there.